Friday, good morning, traders, and welcome to the Pup Hunter Show. Yes, there's been a name change. We changed it to Pup Hunter, and that's what the show is going to be called now from here onward, the Pup Hunter Show. Hey, hopefully everyone had a great weekend and had a great week last week trading. We're going to go ahead and take a look and see what's going on in the market this morning. And then once again, traders, we're always going to be looking for a 20 pup net profit. The strategy hasn't changed, but yes, the name has changed to Pup Hunter. That's what it's going to be called for right now. So, traders, let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on in the market. We're going to look at some fundamentals. We're going to look at some trade opportunities, technically set up, look for support and resistance, and look to see if we can go ahead and get into trades and give us a 20 pip net profit. So, with that being said, traders, let's get the show on the road. I'll see you right after this. All right, traders, well, uh, Cameron doesn't know it, but I'm going to bring him onto the show to go ahead and talk about a trade setup. So he better be ready, better have his shirt on, so he can go ahead and get some trade. No, I'm just kidding. So I'm just making him a little worried out here. All right, so uh, just so that you know, uh, Cameron's been trained up to go ahead and do these sessions. He's going to be talking about uh, trade opportunities, just like I've been doing. And he's going to take over a couple of these sessions. Now, the reason why I, I, uh, I'm trading up Cameron, I want to show you that it's that simple to be able to find trade opportunities by using the Pip Grabber trading tool. Oh, sorry, there I go again. The Pip Hunter trading tool, as well as, of course, looking at uh, the trade uh, signals that we go ahead and send over to those traders that have subscribed to our starter membership. Now, if you want to go ahead and check out some details down below in the description, you'll see there's a lot of details that you can go ahead and find out all about our trade replica and our trading tools that we use here in this trading session. Also, while you're down there, there's a lot of information there as well as a tra uh, the Telegram channel. Check out our Telegram channel. All the trades that we place inside the, this Pip Hunter show will be available inside the Telegram channel. So you can go ahead and follow along the way. Uh, also, very, very important, while you're down there, if you have not subscribed to this channel, you may want to go ahead and do so. Subscribe to the channel, but also go ahead and smash the like button. We love those like buttons, so go ahead and smash them. Now, we're going to go ahead and take a look and see uh, what trade opportunity uh, do we have this morning. We do have trades that we've carried over from last week. In fact, the, uh, the Canadian Swiss, we're still in some positions on the Canadian Swiss, which leaves us with our other opportunities to, be able to, look, to, to look at other trades that we can go ahead and trade this morning. And we're going to go ahead and do so. We're also going to introduce, of course, our sponsor today. We also talk about our sponsor today and exactly what we can do with regards to getting our trade replica for absolutely free. I said last, um, um, I said last week it's going to be $20. I decided we're going to go ahead and make it free, but we are going to talk about when you can get that and how it can be uh, free to you in the first month. Okay, just the first month, we're going to give you guys an opportunity to be able to build your account up at least for the first month if you go ahead and open up a trading account, a live trading account with a cap. So we're going to go ahead and talk about those details in a moment. So let's jump into the trading opportunities this morning. So let's go ahead and grab a, grab a pen and paper. Let's go ahead and flip over to our uh, chart. And let's get take a look and see what we've got going right here. Now, uh, I do have the daily time frame open right here. I'm looking at the Aussie Canadian. And at the moment right now, the Aussie Canadian is moving higher than what I expected. I didn't expect this market to go ahead and blow out of this, uh, uh, this bit of consolidation we had here at the backside of this trend line. So it's doing that. And also, I'm looking over here as well, and I'm noticing that we do have a negative um, uh, movement in the oscillator. But, of course, price has not broken up above the previous high. Now, I don't know. Uh, maybe this is what the market is trying to tell us. Maybe the market is trying to tell us that if we do go ahead and trade up a little bit higher above that, we're going to have negative divergence here. And we can start thinking about price action moving back down south. Now, I would rather prefer that the market just continues to work its way back down south without any sort of negative divergence. But it is what it is. So I'm going to go into a four-hour time frame. Let's do a break this thing down on a four-hour. And I'm looking at the four-hour right here. I really would like to have had the market stall here. But I know that I noticed something right here. 
Look at this train line. Now, I'm a little unorthodox, uh, unorthodox when it comes to train lines. I do a little differently than what most people have been taught to do. Maybe because I've been doing this for so long, I get a little lazy. Now, I'm just kidding. I, I'm looking for some shortcuts. No, that's, I'm also kidding about that too. No, it's just because I've seen the market do these certain things multiple times. And so I've got uh, used to be able to adjust my train line to certain levels. Now, this is what I'm going to do. Notice that I've got my trend line connected here on the low, right down here, and then it's on the next low right here. So what I tend to do is I tend to move my trend line up a little bit where I'm seeing more of the body being tested. So we might have a little bit of wicks chewing up the, a bit of the trend line right here by trading through. But look right here. If I go ahead and connect the bodies, I'm starting to get the market testing the backside right here. All right, there it is there. So now I'm a little more like, hey, I'm excited. Because now I can see here on the four hour time frame, check this out, check out the four hour. On the four hour, we do have price moving higher. We have the back side of the trend line right here. And look at this. We do have negative divergence setting up right here. All right. We do have negative divergence. So I'm a little bit out. And by the way, just another thought right here. Notice that we had a, a wave one, two, three. So, which means if this is one, two, three right here, then all this is a fourth wave pullback. And yes, I know it's gone a little higher than the wave one right here, but which means that uh, we should be looking for a little bit of resistance for price to move back down south. So, which means traders are right off the bat right here. I'm pretty excited about the Aussie uh, CAD trade right here and looking to sell Aussie CAD down south. So, let's go ahead and do this right here. I'm going to go ahead and jump in on a sell on the Aussie CAD right here, and I'm going to go ahead and sell it. Now, what's very important is that you need to know is that on the Aussie CAD, if you look at, at our trade replica, we're actually in a buy on the Aussie CAD. And the profit target is actually at uh, the 93.69. And we're running about two pips shy of that target. So which means that we're running into a buy. And I'm looking at this and I'm saying, hey, we're coming up to resistance. I'm going to opt in to rather look to sell the Aussie CAD because I believe that we're hitting a bit of resistance right here that we're going to see a bit of a pullback. So even though the trade replica is showing a different signal, showing a buy signal, I'm trading against that signal because I believe that the market's going to hit that resistance as we profit on that trade replica too. So just don't get confused. Remember, I want to make sure that everyone understands this trading show is a little different outside what maybe you're already connected to. Like if you're connected to a trade replica and you're looking and go, well, big dog, Aussie cat is long on the trade replica. Why are you selling? That's because this is a manual trading session where we make some manual decisions based on technical analysis and all this other good stuff. And it's not really me going ahead and using the trade replica to go ahead and push the market in a direction, all right, for some time. And by the way, I do make the decisions on the trade replica as to where it's going to go ahead and buy and sell. And so there may be a choice where we're going to start thinking. I've got to look at a couple other things as well that's going to maybe change the direction on the trade replica as well. But let's put all of that aside. Let's not confuse anyone anymore. Let's just go ahead and focus in right now. Focus in. Look at my eyes. All right, just kidding. All right, so what we're going to do is this. We're going to go ahead and uh, uh, sell the uh, the uh, the Aussie CAD right now. We're going to go ahead and take a sell on the Aussie CAD. So let's go to the uh, – uh, uh, this is my trading tool, by the way. There will be a name change on the trading tool right now, but it's going to be called the Pup Hunter trading tool that you can get for $7. If you haven't already, you can get for $7 for the first week, and you can follow the trades that we're doing right here. It's going to pay for itself, my friends. Make sure you go ahead and check out our starter member. All right. Now, uh, Aussie Cat. Let's go ahead and sell Aussie Cat right here. All right. I'm in. I'm in, and we are selling Aussie Cat. Oh yeah, it's on like Donkey Kong. All right. So we're in on the uh, the Aussie Cat, looking to sell the Aussie Cat. Let's take a look and see what other opportunities we have this morning outside the uh, the Aussie Cat. Let's go to the New Zealand Cat right here. All right. Now, the New Zealand cat is showing the same sort of thing. Look at this. Man, it's almost like when you see the Aussie cat and you see the New Zealand cat, you almost want to do the same thing. Now, 
I'm going to kill some fibs right here. Well, maybe I shouldn't. Wait a minute. Maybe I shouldn't. Let's go to the one hour right here. Oh, wow. Look at that. All right. I, I might need to. Let's just take a look here. <clears throat> okay. New fibs right here. Yep. I'm good. I'm going to go ahead and sell New Zealand CAD as well. Also looking for a 20 pip drop right here. Let's jump in New Zealand CAD. And look to sell New Zealand CAD right here. Now, I'm selling New Zealand CAD because uh, if you look at the, uh, take a look right here. This is the uh, the four hour. And the four hour, I'm seeing negative divergence here as well. Look at that negative divergence. Let's kill this pub right here. All right, so I'm seeing negative divergence as price goes higher. Notice the oscillator is dropping south. All right, getting some negative divergence here on the oscillator and the on price on the four hour. If I flip this over to a one hour time frame, look at this. I know this candle has still got about, what, 30 minutes to go before it closes out. But it looks like it's uh, it's holding off here. There's some sort of resistance at this point right here. There's something holding it from going higher. And it, it could be that this low right here is becoming a factor. Now, all I'm looking for is 20 pips right there. So if the market goes in and breaks back down south right here, Gives me my 20 pips. That's all I need. I'm going to get the heck out of Dodge. But I am seeing resistance at that level right here. All right. So I'm going to stick with that. Now, let's go to the uh, US dollar CAD right here. So I'm I'm a big believer that price is loving the support right here. Look at that support right there. All right. We've got support, support, support. And now we're at support right here. So it makes sense for me to want to think that US dollar CAD is going to go back up again and we're going to see some positive bullish move. Now, I know in the last hour I had this big bearish move right here, but it doesn't look like the market wants to go anywhere. Let's go take a look at the, uh, let's go take a look at the, uh, uh, the calendar for this week. Well, it's Tuesday. Zero news coming out. Well, at least no important news coming out here on Tuesday. Wednesday, we have some data. We've got uh, pound data coming out. We've got C, uh, CPI, yearly CPI for the pound. Fantastic. Uh, that's at 3 a.m. in the morning. But then we've got uh, U.S. data coming out. The Feds are just speaking at uh, about not, at about 8 o'clock in the morning. And then uh, if we keep further going further down there, we have some Thursday data as well, some European data. So not a big uh, uh, crazy week of fundamentals, right? Now, obviously, the war in Ukraine is still becoming a pre-issue because it does involve a lot of countries in the world, not just Ukraine itself, but a lot of countries are being affected. So we are going to get some market movement based on the war in Ukraine. There's no doubt about it. And I know there's been a lot of traders out there that have gone ahead and decided to go ahead and put their fingers down and not put any trades in through this period. We've gone ahead and traded through this period, but I've always said, make sure that you go ahead and prepare yourself for financially and make sure that you are always using good equity management, good risk reward ratios, good uh, trade decisions, make good trade decisions during this period. All right. It's essential. And we mentioned how, uh, you know, how you can reduce your risk in order to be able to stay in the game, because that's really what it comes down to. Let's see. Traders, I want to go ahead and say this, and I think it's important for everyone to note. Remember, these are trade signals. All right, even whether you've connected to the trade replica or you are using the trade signals, you have the option to make a decision based on your account size, based on your risk tolerance. You can make a decision how many currency pairs you want to follow, how, many, how much risk you want to place on each trade. You're in full control of how you want to manage your account. It doesn't matter if we, if we go ahead and uh, show trade signals on all 28 currency pairs. It doesn't mean because we show all eight uh, or these all 28 signals on all of those pairs that you're going to trade all of those 28 currency pairs. Come on, man. No, no. All right. So what I'm saying is this. Don't go ahead and use a $2,000 trading account or $1,000 trading account and trade 28 currency pairs. Don't open yourself to that. Go ahead and make sure that you limit 
what currency pairs are you going to focus on so that you can manage your risk and, and how many trades you go ahead and enter based on what your count size is and based on your risk tolerance, all right? Make sure that you do that. Make sure that you do that. Sorry, I had to say it twice. All right, so this is the thing right here. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the next trade opportunity. So nothing happening based on fundamentals right here. So I'm comfortable jumping in on a buy. You can also see the oscillator is moving up right here. Prices move down. We should see a nice little push. Now, we did have a, a move right here. You can see there. But then uh, the market pulled back down very quickly. Here it is. You see how price moved up and then suddenly it pulled back down? Well, we're back at support again. So I'm going to go ahead and venture into, and I want to go take a quick look right here. I always like to uh, take a quick uh, squeeze right here. Oh, yeah. No, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. So I'm going to go ahead and buy US dollar CAD. Let's go to US dollar CAD right here. There we go. So US dollar CAD, uh, where we're at, where we're at, US dollar CAD. There it is. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and buy. All right, we're long on US dollar CAD right here. All right, now, the last one I have available right now is on the uh, the euro. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the euro. And uh, let's see here on the euro. Looks like, my friends, I'm going to be on the sideline on the euro right here. I was looking for a buy, but at the moment right now, we can see that price is already on this 15-minute time frame. Gone ahead and traded uh, on the retracement, rallied up. We're getting a bit of resistance right here. We've got the 1.618 up here at the top. I don't see this as a good opportunity as of right now. I'm a, I'm actually want to be a buyer in the market, but I don't see enough uh, upside potential to go ahead and buy Markets are really taken off quite a bit right here already. Um, opportunity would have been about, let's see here. Actually, you know what? Let's see here. That high is around about 23 pips away. Let's go to the four hour. Hmm. Huh. Okay, I'm seeing a little, I'm, I'm just, I'm going to stand inside on the euro, just because the room that I'm seeing right here at the top here, I mean, we could push up a little higher. Price we're going to get on this one right here. Let's see here. Let's see the price. So price on the euro is at 10.31. If I can get 10.29... I might just go ahead and do that just so I can get a little extra. Well, you know what? 10.30 is not too bad. All right, I'm going to go ahead and buy Euro US dollar right here. All right, I'm in on Euro US dollar. All right, so it looks like I, I got in. There we go, 10.29. Fantastic, I got my price. All right, so 10.29. I am long on Euro US dollar. I am long on US dollar CAD. I am short on Canadian Swiss. I've been in that uh, since last week. 
I'm long, uh, sorry, I'm short on Aussie CAD and I'm short on New Zealand CAD. Those are the five pairs that I've gone ahead and entered this morning. We'll go ahead and take a look and see how that plays out for right now. We'll stick to those trades. Now, once again, traders, if you want to go ahead and follow um, the trades, go to our Telegram channel down in the description. And in the Telegram channel, you will see where it says Pup Hunter right here. Oh, sorry, it says T Traders Network Club down below right here. And you will see, and we'll get the name changed right here. At the moment right now, it says uh, Pup Grabber Show, but it's going to change. It'll be uh, Pup Hunter. But these are the trades right here. We've gone ahead and placed the trades. They're inside the Telegram channel. Check it out. Now, traders, if you want to go ahead and follow us um, and follow our trades and use the same tools that we want to use, go to our website, tradersnetworkclub.com. Check out the starter member. There you can get the trading tool we use, plus you can get the actual signals, not just the signals that we're doing here in the show, but we'll give you additional signals as a bonus. And by the way, that might not be the year, year for too long, but you will get the additional signals that we trade based on the trade replica as well. So you can enter a lot more trades. We want to get you entering a lot more trading opportunities. So you'll get the trade replica signals that gives us about 150 to 170 trade signals per month. In fact, let's take a look over here and see how many trade signals we've been getting over the course of this month so far. And let's go take a look right here. So the trade signals this month has given us, let's see. Uh, and by the way, we are 50% up for this month, uh, this year already. Really 50% up. And we've placed, so far in this month, we've placed 218 trades already this month. There it is there. Don't take my word for it. There it is there. We've placed 218 trades, and we're not done this month already. So imagine all the trade opportunities that you're going to get. Check out our starter member inside Traders Network Club. Check it out. It is going to be a great opportunity for you to get into more trades. So check it out. And again, we're up 12% this month. Oh, I thought we were not going to hit our target from last month. Look at our, look at last month. We made 16% in January, 14%, almost 15% in uh, February. And we're really 12.76% up this month alone, which means traders, we haven't got a lot. To the, uh, we've got about a week left of trading. And I think we should go and, and surpass the uh, the last two months. I think we're going to do really good in our trade replica. So check it out. Those are the trade signals that you will get with our starter member. Listen here, traders, it's been fun. It's been awesome. I'm looking forward to the chain, the name change to Pup Hunter right now. I, I don't know. Camera says it doesn't gel with it. I like it. I like it. My wife, Michelle, said that, uh, no, she says, it sounds like you're a hunter. I said, yes, we are. We're hunting for pups. She says, yeah, but it sounds like you, you're you hunting for something. I said, yes, we're hunting for pups. How much more must I tell you? We're hunting for pups. We're looking for 20 pups in the market. Yeah, but it just, it's great. I love it. We'll see you guys later in, in the next show. Pup Hunter, that's what it is now. We'll see everyone in the next show. It's going to be at the same time, same place. See you guys uh, tomorrow. Good luck with your trading. I'll see you at, uh, at 9.15 tomorrow. This is Epic Big Dog signing off.